Paul oh, Robeson went this here. This is great. The famous black communist. Oh, we oh communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I believe, you know, communism is a great thing, actually. The idea of communism is, like, absolutely liberating. It's the idea of, like, embracing a collective spirit to, um, like, build a better world. Yes, resist. What are you resisting? I'm resisting you, bitch. Wow, very <laughs> progressive and brave. Caitlin Bennett pooped her pants in college. It's pretty tight. So is a Liberty Hangout Show. Liberty Hangout Show. Subscribe. Cool. Hit the Subscribe. notification bell. S Notifications, subscribe. Can you tell us Liberty Hangout number one YouTube channel? Subscribe. Give Liberty, us a wait. Liberty Hangout number one YouTube channel. Subscribe to them. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question for you. Hi guys. Do you want to oh, do a group interview here? Me and James it are both white people. Like okay. we we are in the oppressive class, and like oh. we recognize. Do, am I in the oppressive? Wow. An Italian who knows that they're white. Interesting. Hey, why don't the Italians in my community learn something? from an Italian at Rutgers University. Of class, yeah, yes. just like we, we benefit from white privilege in a way that like it's not it, it's not obvious, but it's in a more subtle way. Um, I mean, look around. Do you see any indigenous people? Yeah, I talked to a lot today, actually. Really? Um, what tribes were they from? I didn't ask because that's not important to me. But it is. The, do you know the history? It's not important you know to me. Of this campus? This was built, at, most of it was built by slave labor. Why are you here? Many buildings have the names of slaveholding families. Why do you go in them? Well, because Rutgers has a legacy also on top of this with really radical politics. Paul Robeson went here. The famous black communist. Oh, we, oh, communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I believe, you know, communism is a great thing, actually. I mean, obviously. I love that she, like, very quickly switched over from the one guy who was sympathetic to her to uh, two people that are probably going to own her into oblivion. It's been implemented in ways that haven't been effective in some some Can you show me where it's believe, been effective? I believe naturally humans hold a collective spirit. We are not atomized individuals. Neoliberalism has torn through humanity. So individualism way. is out of the picture. I believe we all have individual rights and the right to self-determination, as Palestinian people do as well. Wait, this guy is pretty good, dude. Um, Very brave. Yes. And I also believe that naturally we are innately collective. And I believe that we all exist in a mosaic of humanity. And I think the fact that the capitalist system and neoliberalism has completely destroyed that um, produces ideology. He's the Rutgers DSA president, really? Dude, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> I was nowhere near this woke in college, dude. <laughs> Sounds like you a bit. Yeah, me like 10 years after college. Fascism is a direct result of that. My God, you were throwing out all these really crazy, weird terms. Eco-fascism. No. Wait. <laughs> this is so good. She's just like, I don't understand the things you're saying. That's what she's. She's just basically said. So it must be dumb. They are like, well, honestly, like, if you talk to a normal person, eco-fascism. That, that's really stupid. The L Shooter self-identified as an eco-fascist. He wrote a manifesto about the climate crisis. He said he accepted the science and then scapegoated black and brown people. This is real threats that we're dealing with. Okay. And I think to say that they're not real problems really minimizes. I never said that. I said my introduction to theory was in college, but my understanding of theory did not develop until much later, especially considering the fact that I, I mean, while being a political science major, still had like a relatively uh, pro-capitalist, social democratic approach to American politics as, 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 and also global politics in general. What radicalized me in America is healthcare. What radicalized me originally or what made me open-minded to uh, socialization or nationalization was seeing it work in my country, in Turkey, a country that was a developing nation. I, I it definitely wasn't until later that I uh, became more woke. I would say. I said it's silly. What what is eco fascism? What is that? It's this idea that it's a branch of far right politics. Usually, far right people don't accept the fact that climate change is a real pressing problem. What do you think about this? You're just a bystander. What, what do you identify with? Are you a right wing, left wing? Don't really care. Don't really care. I'm in the middle. So, right. What about eco-fascism? Are you contributing to that? Is your name Caitlin Bennett or something? It is, yeah. Oh, I've seen you. I don't know. Okay. All right. Have a good have day. Like All right. Very cool, guys. I mean, I wouldn't be, if you're that conscious about slavery and the Native Americans, I wouldn't be on this campus if you told me all that crazy history. But, I mean, 
It is really yeah. weird that you're okay with you communists being here. So we can. The yes, whole, I need the education. No, no, I didn't yeah. say that. I said we like are here getting an education okay, so we I'm can sorry. better the systems that we do believe are like structurally oppressing people. Like it's not fair to just say like uh, we recognize that the history is problematic, but there's also a positive history that James like very diligently points. A gentle tear is rolling down my cheeks as these young radicals are absolutely obliterating spaghetti-haired Caitlin Bennett who shit her pants in college. My God, what a beautiful. What a beautiful painting this is. It out. Communists We're, came out of the school. Communists, that's, radicals, just people who like think that's in positive. A way. Radical is like an inherently positive. Communists, thing. that's okay. Yes. The idea of communism is like absolutely liberating. It's the idea of like embracing a collective spirit to um, like build a better world. Do you have like a defense of this instead of just like acting shocked? Like, can you give me something to work with? Yeah, so I think communism is inherently wrong because it strips away the individual. There's no more individual, so people can't be looked at as you're an individual, you're an individual, you're all different you all have the right to do and be what you want to do. wrong communism is the only ideology or communism is the only system rather that could create individual liberties the only way for you to have a maximum individual liberties free of shackles of remuneration for subsistence wages to pursue growth to pursue uh, whatever your personal uh, choices are to truly better yourself to truly better society by reorganizing our economy in uh, more egalitarian ways, or at least uh, to deliver more egalitarian outcomes. Inherently, communism is wrong because it's based off of theft. Right communism is not okay because you don't have the right to- Based off of theft, as opposed to capitalism, in which a theft of wages occurs naturally, but we've decided that it's legal, so that's not theft anymore. That's pretty tight. She's really bad. I mean, no wonder like the rest of the conservatives uh, disowned her. Every person has a right to their property. You don't have the right to your property? No. The, well, right now we're not living in a communist system, but I'm willing to give up. Personal property is a capitalistic notion that has been embedded in us, so we think that it's the right thing to do. Because Why isn't it right to have your property and have a right to your property? Because there's no end to exploitation without expropriation is directly related to like the exploitation of the people who are creating the, the thing. So consent to trade Ooh. with an individual is exploiting? I'm not, oh. hold on, I'm talking to her. Good one. No, wait, consent to trade. That's not yes. what I'm saying. Where, <laughs> when, when did trade become a point you of- You talk about capitalism is right. wrong because it exploits people. Consensual trade is not happening in capitalism. We're not, it's not a Consensual barter trade system. Is fine. Everyone's on the same playing yes. field. Yeah, dude. Voluntary association, consensual trade, uh, totally real concepts. Like when, um, I mean, now Dengus are going to mauled, but when we exploit the third world, that's consensual trade. You know what I mean? We give them the crumbs and we exploit them for their deregulated labor. And, uh, and we give them back crumbs of the profits that we generate off of them. That's consensual trade. Yeah. Capitalism does not produce even outcomes for people. I work that's the point. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It's trading. This is why neoliberals on r slash reddit neoliberal are identical to conservatives. Or, I mean, they are. They are conservatives. The original neoliberalism is a conservative ideology. Because they believe the same thing. I work That's the point. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. How it's is it consensual trading. then? Wait, we Some people inherently are people. better. What Get a job? <laughs> what if we live in a system? We don't. We don't. We don't. So. Yeah, have you read the new Jim Crow? We don't. We don't live in a society i see different colors of people okay, all around me, me every day just give me give me the evidence bro wait a minute we don't live in a racist society because there's people of uh, different colors that live around me every day that i see what so during the jim crow south pre-abolition of slavery there were still black people you saw them that's not a counterpoint <laughs> this is so good oh wow that's good so what, how do we not live in a Society. Color of their skin. Why 13% of black people are disenfranchised in this country. So 13% of the population is what makes up black people? Millions. Millions of people are disenfranchised because of the systems Tell me the this system. country is based on. Tell me the system. Mass incarceration, the prison industrial complex, the military industrial complex are all perpetuated on the notion that black and brown bodies are less 
than white bodies. So that's in the law? That is prescribed in the law, yes. Can you show me where? What's the law? law? The 13th Amendment says it abolishes slavery except for the fact of people in jail, right? So it's like you have this issue of mass incarceration because black people are, for the same crime, the same amount of times they're committed, they are incarcerated more times because they don't have resources to get a lawyer, they don't have resources to get um, any legal defense, so they're put in jail, right? Then they're stripped of the right. So they're put in... Does Caitlin Bennett not realize that she's getting like brutally destroyed in these videos so she ends up uploading them why would you upload this you had editorial control over this entire process so why did you decide to post this video look at the likes there is no way people watch this these, this is like unironic leftists liking the video there's no way I, I i refuse to believe that this video like people came out of this video thinking like you know uh poo poo uh bennett won the argument so no one's gonna talk about how she doesn't believe we live in a racist society <laughs> girl you look stupid they killed it this girl seriously thinks the justice system isn't racist yeah dude i'm telling you she's like yeah no she's like the reverse crowder where like crowder only uploads videos where he is like overwhelming young uh college freshmen she only uploads videos where young college freshmen own her in jail because they don't have a legal defense yeah, you have the right to an attorney you have the right to a paralegal it's different a private attorney has way more political power way more social capital than a paralegal does it's really disappointing you, you guys defender system isn't you guys think so lowly of black people in this country that you think that they inherently do not have these resources why do you think black people yes a descriptive claim about African-American poverty in this country caused by systemic racism or, or our violently racist criminal justice system that has held African-Americans back or systemic racism in the form of Jim Crow laws in the South and even Jim Crow in the North or uh, redlining uh, and, and things like that are, are actually saying that black people are just unable to make money on their own. Very cool. Do you think this counts as sex work for her? They're getting paid to have people watch commies gangbang you? Seems like it would be. <laughs> True, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a commie. This is a commie bukkake, dude. Messed up. Why are, why are they so they below you? they for 400 years. Dude, have you read a f book? So they're inherently below. You guys act like they can't do anything on their you own. Do you you want to talk they're about, they're guys, you the guys want to talk about a prejudice us. system and a prejudice society. The only people I see putting black people down below them is you guys, white liberals, white communists liberal. that sit there and say, what are you? I'm like a democratic socialist. Based, dude, this is so awesome. She said, I'm not a liberal. <laughs> oh, this is so good. You're too far into leftist thought. They're not great communicators. I think they did a great job. If you come out of this conversation thinking that Caitlin Bennett had any, like any significant rebuttals at all, you have to have your biases be doing most of the work for you. So you guys are the ones saying black people based on their skin color can't do X, Y, and Z. No. Yes, We're you saying are. The system did that to them. We're not saying they're inherent. And then there's like that communist collective ideology. Yes, resist. What are you resisting? I'm resisting you, bitch. Wow, very <laughs> progressive and brave. Like, I don't understand what you're trying. Like, can you just tell me what you're trying to accomplish? Because I want to. I want an open dialogue with you, but you're not giving well, me. You just called me a. B Do you really want an open dialogue yes, when you're I calling want, me names? Because I want you to give oh, me. Oh, that's when you know. That's when you know a Republican has been uh, promptly owned. That's when you know, and she's like, huh, you're calling me names? This is identical. This is identical to, to uh, Steven Crowder getting absolutely brutally mogged by uh, Yusuf, the Nazbal kid. There also, the fact that she's using farts as a, as like a way to censor sounds in her video is additionally hilarious considering her most famous uh, thing that she's ever done was the, the diaper incident for Turning Point USA. And also, on top of that, she shit her pants. So that's pretty funny. She pooped herself in college. Like, Apologize. I'm sorry for calling you a b right, Thank sorry. you. Kent State, too. Yeah, I'm sorry that you were there sucking b So actually, just for the camera, this guy I was at a party at Kent State. I don't know what you were doing there, but he was giving out free bl jobs. Wanted nothing in return. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I was. Why were you giving out free bl jobs? Communism. Yeah. Give it to you know, collective spirit. Yeah. Share the wealth. We distribute the wealth. Okay. The wealth is his penis. You guys think you're acting funny, but I encourage you to look at this video after we put that in there. This is going to be great. Wait, so she just, wait, first of all, way to own it, my guy. Just way to just f 
and roll with it. That was, I'm sorry, that was boss as f okay? That was absolutely just, he was like, yeah, whatever, I was sucking dick for communism, baby. That is, holy sh dude. What an absolute legend. He just let that roll right off of him. He was just like, ah, whatever, dude. Yeah, more dick than you, bitch. <laughs> Ain't nobody throwing dick your way. Shut the f up. Like, literally, that is awesome, dude. That was, oh, what an excellent, excellent way to just whew, let that roll off of you. That's really good. Literally being homophobic, making a joke is assumed sexuality, and gets upset they called her a bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, keep playing the fart noises, dude, on your videos where you shit yourself. What do you think about starting an initiative on campus? College here? students have no morals? What are these videos? Oh, yeah, this is the famous meme, right? This is that. I remember seeing, like, the Twitter clip of this. It was pretty good. UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises. And we can put urinals in the women's restroom for them. Sounds fantastic. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step closer. You know? <laughs> My man said fantastic. Yo, why is she posting these, dude? This is so good. You know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. You don't see anything wrong with those statements? No. What men do I mean, you know like with periods? General use ones like in Willie T have pads. I use them pretty often. So. What do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for oh. women who have penises? Um, that's fine. If it makes them feel comfortable, I don't mind. Like I don't, I don't really care about it. Are you willing to accept that women, some women do have penises? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what? We're here today at the University Dude, of this Kentucky. is how you deal with... Wow, it's literally the, the cheat code is just to be like, yeah, some people are trans, some people are gay, who cares? Shut up. What? Wow, this is... Oof. I was out here molding for no reason when I talked to transphobes and like getting angry when I should just be like, yeah, why do you care? <laughs> Cringe intro inclusive towards trans people by putting urinals in the women's restroom i mean they gotta do what they gotta do so i mean it's not, because not me. all women have vaginas some of them I mean, have penises right i mean i don't know i, I just mind my own business i'm not that big into it uh -huh. all right what do you think <laughs> should we put tampons in the men's restroom it would not bother me <laughs> because again we do not pick who we become and who we are so it's yeah. up to them because I not all because men do have periods too right well Genetically, no, not well, biologically, no, but okay. that middle area because it's it is a spectrum. What's a spectrum? Oh! You know, when you're born, you have an X and a Y chromosome, you can be in the middle, all this. Yo, what is going on? What happened in college, dude? Being on the internet is like made me think that like most normies are just insanely transphobic. Meanwhile, like on college campuses, they're literally turning people gay. And, and cultural Marxism is, is teaching people about uh, trans identity. This is, this is postmodern Marxism. This is postmodern neo-Marxism in action. Wow, this is awesome, dude. You either have XX or XY. No. Not true. It's factually incorrect. No, it's kind of in the middle. It's just... No, literally, you either have XX or XY. Okay, I'm just gonna... What's your major? Psychology. And you don't know about chromosomes and male and female? I do know about chromosomes and male and female. I'm just on my way somewhere okay. instead of somebody. All right, we'll put tampons in, the, in your bathroom. Should we put urinals in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who stand up when they pee because they have penises? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Why? No, here's why. Nobody likes urinals. Men don't like urinals in men's restrooms, okay? No, urinals suck. It's just uncomfortable. Anyone who's saying they love urinals, you're wrong, okay? You're wrong. And uh, no, I don't even sit down when I pee. Well, you're wrong. They're disgusting. Pee splashes everywhere. None of them are my height. I hate it. I hate it all the way. Hello, would you like to have tampons in the men's restroom? Uh, I don't see an issue with it. It's Me neither. Necessary. Yeah, it's necessary, yes, yes. Should we put urinals? in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who have penises. You know, they stand up when they pee. I mean, if there's the money in the budget for it, sure. Okay, okay. 
Okay. Uh, well, what if there was money? I never would have thought this guy would give that take. Oh, I'm wrong. I, I was wrong. I was expecting him to be a total chud. Turns out he's a total chad. My bad. Definitely a business major. You're right. Money to put free tampons and pads in men's restrooms for men who have periods. If there's budget, I don't see a problem. Do you see a problem with me asking you about men having periods? No, I mean, it's a college campus. There's a lot of ideas to share. I mean, what is a period? What? What's a period? A uh, biological function. Of? What do you, I'm confused. What do you mean? Who has periods? People with the People? organs to do that. Who has organs to do that? Okay. Uh, it's a good You're question. uncomfortable. It's a good question. Yes. Dude, just say people with vaginas, dude. Oh, he thinks she's trans now? Wait, you think you think she's asking? You think he's uncomfortable because he doesn't want to say the wrong thing because she might be trans? Is that what you think is going on? Where he's like, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Please don't. <laughs> what if I gave you an option between men and women? Who has the organs to have a period? That's a very good question. Yes, I'll... If you were to walk into the women's restroom and you saw a woman with a penis there using a urinal, would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. So none of your business that a man no. is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. Owned! And then the walk away? What? This video is sick, dude. Why did she do this? Wait, this is better material than John Quinones, dude. This is making me actually happy. 0% win rate. Why is she just the L queen, dude? This is the 2020 version of the L word. It's just, she just keeps taking L's over and over again. This is so good. I really, I want to donate to her Patreon. Yeah. Guys, this is, this is the ancient art of Buffon. This is the reverse Sasha Baron Cohen. She is incredible. This is subversive. This is, this is real art. You simpletons do not understand what is happening here. You got some spiffy shoes on. Yeah. I really like them. Thank you. So I have a question for you. Okay. It's real easy. It's not hard or anything. Do you think we should pass an initiative here on campus to put tampons and pads in men's restrooms for men who have periods? Uh, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, men having periods and men having a period, so. Uh, I say, yes. I say men go through hardships, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially if they're having a period. That sounds pretty, hey, pretty hard dudes on dudes rock. Right I mean, dudes rock 2020, okay? I mean, I've never had one, but I mean, I'm sure there's a couple out there, you know, have a little cramp, a little stomach ache, you know, something like that, you know? You know it's more than that, right? Yeah, but I mean, that's just like... What is a period? It was like the, uh, like scientifically. Okay, well, like, in the most basic terms, dead eggs, and then they excrete from the, well, in a man's case, from the penis. Do men have eggs? I'm gonna have to. I guess to shed that uterine lining, right? It's 2019. It's 2019. Genetics can change. Everything can happen. Everything can change. Penises turn into vaginas? Yes. I mean, come on now. I mean... What do you think about putting tampons and pads in the men's restroom here on campus for men who have periods? Yeah, absolutely. That's essential. Yeah, there's there's uh there's more than people think. What men having periods? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By God, did you s tell them to seek medical help if men are having periods? Well, trans men have periods. Oh. Oh. Posture changed. Posture changed. It's about to go down. Okay, explain that one to me. Yeah, so uh, so people who have uh, transitioned from female to male, um, you know, obviously, you know, they might still have periods and. You know, if they identify as male, you know, they have the right to go into the men's room. We should True. put tampons in men's restrooms okay. for men who have periods. Men who have periods? What? I'm talking about, like, transgender people? What do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for women who have penises? Um, that's fine. If it makes them feel comfortable, I don't mind. Like, I don't, I don't really care about it. Are you willing to accept that women some women do have penises? Yeah. I mean, I'm all for like 
people I just want people to feel comfortable like if they want to use the women's restroom I have no problem with it you know regular cis men you know don't necessarily have to have a urinal yeah. uh, per se um, it could be nice um, you said regular cis men mm -hmm. wouldn't that just be a regular man uh, it would be a regular cis man uh, what's there. the difference uh, cis just means that you identify as the gender that you were born as. Uh, so. How should I approach people if I don't know what they are? <laughs> Someone said this dude is DSA as f**k. True. Half the people I feel like she's talking to are DSA as f**k. <laughs> this dude spent the better part of his day uh, typing snake emojis under Liz Warren's tweets from 2018. Cis men don't have periods. Cis men don't have periods, but some men do. Yes. All right. Thank you for the lesson. I appreciate it. Thank you. You want to jump in? Wow. You guys can do Absolutely dumpstered. When you do this after a conversation you. where you've been educated about gender pronouns or, or uh, how like some people can be cisgender, when you do this, that's when you've defeated them in the marketplace of ideas. Wow. This is good, dude. This is really good. I, I genuinely thought that at least like she would know the common like she's so lazy that she doesn't even know what the common uh, retorts are like she doesn't even know any of the conservative uh, takes you want to jump in you guys can do it together I just know that if I don't say profanities this probably won't get played but Kentucky does not stand for sexism yeah is <laughs> phobia things like that yeah Kentucky that. doesn't who's standing for that type of stuff I know the people surrounding me at the University of Kentucky, and I know Who? that this- Do these people? This is gonna she said the, the people Kentucky at the University of Kentucky are- Yo, she is the worst, dude. I, I see why even the conservatives hate her. So are any of you guys- No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you're trying- <laughs> You probably won't play this because we're standing up to things like that, and that's not what Kentucky's- Okay, Oh, you were wrong, okay? Let me tell you, lady, you were wrong. She's that dumb, okay? She's so dumb that she will play all of the times that she got brutally mogged, owned, refuted, cumstered and dumpstered. That's really cool. Yeah. Should we put tampons and pads in the men's restroom to be more inclusive to men who have periods? I mean, sure. Why not? Okay. Wouldn't hurt anything. Hmm. I don't know. I, I mean, Jesus. Think about it. I I'm going to ask you a different it. question. Should we put urinals in the women's restroom to be more inclusive to women who have penises? Um, I mean, if it doesn't hurt anybody, I don't see what the problem of having it is. What do you think about putting urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises and they just want to stand and pee? Um, I think people just making too big of a deal about it. I don't really care. Naughty words. Okay, so we should or shouldn't? I mean, I don't really care. Okay, what about tampons and pads and men's restroom for men who have periods? If you're really getting that worked up about it, why does it matter? Like, I don't care. It's just sitting there. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so we should provide men with tampons. <laughs> I mean, if a dude wants a tampon for some reason, he can have a tampon. That's not my business. What would he use it for? I don't know. That's his problem. What would he use a pad for? His problem. Do you think they should seek medical advice if they're having bleeding? He's actually, this difference between a real libertarian and one who is confused about the, the concept of libertarianism. We don't know if this guy is like pro-trans rights or not, uh, but it doesn't matter. He's like, yeah, I don't care. Who cares? They want to. I don't really care. Why should I care? I don't know. I care about people. If they're you know, bleeding I, out of their penis, yeah. I would want to. I care about people's personal rights. They can do whatever they want. It's not, none of my business. You would want them to have a pad? Um, yeah, I, I, I also genuinely don't care. I, I don't understand why anyone would ever get worked up if they saw. If you see tampons in the men's room and you get worked up about it, you're a f***ing moron, okay? Why? Like, who? literally, who cares? What would you do if you walked into a restroom here on campus and there was a basket of free tampons for men? Uh, I'd just stare at it and be like, what the hell? <laughs> You wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, some men have periods. No. Are you telling me you don't think men have periods? Yeah. Because it's my understanding that men don't. She's so happy. She's like, I finally found one who's not even aware of the implication of uh, the, the cis heteronormative statement that they're making. I found one. <laughs> have vaginas. Yeah. <laughs> some men do. I mean, Bernie Sanders. Well. I'm pretty sure he has one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> wait, <the laughs> wait, dude, there's no way. Editor, the editors are like communists, I think. I think your editors are like actually unironically leftists. They're making fun of the guy for agreeing with Caitlyn. There's, does she not understand what's going on? She's not that stupid. She's not that stupid, right? She can't be that stupid. What's in your laptop case? Your laptop. Are you sure? That's not what I heard. I have an important question for you. Wait, what? What do you think about putting urinals in the women's restroom for women who have penises? I don't care about that. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> what do you think about starting an initiative on campus here at UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises and we can put urinals in the women's Yeah, I didn't really get that part. When she's I'm pretty sure Bernie Sanders has a vagina. Like, w does she think it's bad to have a vagina? Like, did she own Bernie by claiming that he has a vagina? Wait, does she not have a vagina? Is she a trans woman? A misogynistic trans woman? Is this the plot twist? It's restroom for them. Sounds fantastic. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step close, you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. Ones like in Willie T have pads, I use them pretty often, so. I use them pretty often, so. Should we put tampons oh. and pads <laughs> in the men's restroom? What if we stuck, took it one step further and put urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises? That wouldn't have any effect I would, on I, would have no <laughs> I don't get how anybody can have a problem with that. While they're eating Chick Fil A, <laughs> bro, this is tight, dude. This is actually pretty tight. This is really cool to see. I, I unironically love this. This is so cool. You think girls on this campus would have a problem walking in and there's a Some of them dick will, hanging I mean, out? Some of them would, but I mean, should we just say it's too bad? We got to be inclusive. Like, if girls are upset about it, should we say we got to be diverse and inclusive? Listen, who who would do this? Like, you gotta th just just think it through. Who would do this? Like, who would be like, look at me. Look at me with my girl penis. I'm out here whirling it around. Like, is that what is that what she thinks, like, guys do in the in the men's room? We're just whirling it around? Just guy things. We're just, you know, sword fighting in there. The bathroom is a sacred area where we all engage in filth, okay? It's supposed to be closed off and private everything i do in there i don't want anyone else to know i'm pooping i'm peeing nasty nasty things i'm ashamed of it while i do it okay so i don't understand why she thinks that like you know uh, uh trans women are just going to be running around with their with their dicks out flopping them around like look at my femme penis look at it <laughs> look at my femme penis right now she doesn't use bathrooms. Oh, true. She never used the bathroom. She shits herself. That's why she doesn't know. Hi, sir. Would you like tampons in your bathroom? If it's a bathroom, everyone uses shit. What? Are you, why? Why are you asking? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to pull here. Maybe tampons we can be bathrooms? tampons in men's restrooms. Oh, you're trying to go like make it trans? Are you trying to like, are you talking about like against trans? No, I'm asking if you think that we should have tampons for men who have periods. No comment. I'm not. Why not? I'm good. Why not? I'm good. I don't have to give my opinion. You know. You get a good picture of me? You want a better one? Yeah, go ahead. He said he likes answering questions. I have two very progressive questions for you. Are you a progressive? I'm a big conservative. Ooh. Should we put urinals in women's restrooms here on campus to make women with penises feel more comfortable? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's it's important to make everyone feel included. Um, I I'm, thought you said you were a huge conservative. I am. It's it's dripping. It's dripping? Worth it. It's worth it, though. Don't okay, worry. <laughs> they cut it. Cut the interview. Cut the interview. Abort. Abort. <laughs> I am. Oh, no. This doesn't fit the narrative. Why did they include that? Why did they include it in the editing? Why didn't they just take that out? I will never know the answers to the mankind's greatest questions as to why... Caitlin Bennett does what she does. What an incredible situation. I just uh, have to plead the fifth and... What makes you so scared to say your opinion? I mean, it's just the campus that we're on is very liberal and I don't really consider myself a liberal and uh, I get in trouble pretty easy. Yes, yes, feel the fear. 
feel the fear enjoy the social cohesion that has been forcibly indoctrinated into these college campuses by postmodern neo-marxists let's go feel that fear inside of you you chud hide all of your reactionary tendencies in order not to get abused on college campus excellent excellent this is good this is exactly what we want this is the future liberals want <laughs> yes yes Oh, so good. So good. We're going to do this now. I, I hope they do one with Sharia next. People with penises there. Oh, like a unisex bathroom? Yeah, I don't mind those. Not necessarily because everyone there identifies as a woman, but some of them have penises. How do I know they have penises? What? Like it's a normal bathroom with stalls, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a normal bathroom. So, like, how do I know if someone who looks like a woman and identifies as a woman and is peeing in the cell next to me has a penis? Like, how in this hypothetical situation, how would I even know? If I, even if I cared, how would I, how would I know? You wouldn't know, and that's what's scary about it. Why is that scary, though? Because there could be a, pe a penis nearby. Right. And <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Remember those like, listen, remember the, the meme of like the man hating feminazi or whatever, who they just like hate penises or whatever, like the, the Womixin uh, crowd, like the, the Wimian crowd. Usually they're very turfy. This is what happens to them. It's the uh, same like a uh, penis uh, fear. <laughs> Hop in the discord Otherwise, I'ma split you like a split cord My man still pauses Everybody is bored Come at me I'ma sun you You'ma call me His lord 